Are we live? Yes, we are. Good morning. How are we doing? If you're coming in, give me a hello. If you're on replay, drop a replay. So three quick ways to help you stay on track. It's the weekend often. This week's flown, isn't it? Anyway, um, the weekend, Christmas coming up. I'm starting to get more questions than ever about social events, eating out. So three quick ways that you can feel more in control and help you stay on track. Number one is to balance out your food intake across the day. So if you know you're eating out later, so for me, I know that we're probably gonna have something a bit more flexible in the evening tonight, whether that's duck and pancakes, something like that, which is amazing, by the way. It's becoming a Saturday thing. You might not, I'm not in control today, but it means during the day, I can account for that a little bit better. So in the, in the morning, I'll have something like egg-based, whether it's an omelet, high in protein, filling, nutritious, maybe some Greek yogurt, 0% Greek yogurt, yogurt, lots of fruit, lots of volume in there throughout the day. I'll have quite a light lunch if I want lunch, whether that is something like a mackerel salad, something like that. Something, lots of protein, lots of veg, lots of food volume, but it could be something like a soup as well, where I'm keeping my calories quite low to allow for more flexibility later. So that's one option you can do. Number two is to make sure that when you actually eat out, you don't have to choose like the most calorific thing on the menu. There might be options that you can make a better choice, you can prioritize getting some good protein and some good vegetables in, if you want to, that is. If you want to. I remember when you are eating out, you might actually find that, this, this surprises a lot of people, I always find when I eat out, I snack less like around that. So after the dinner, all, I've nearly always had enough, so I'm like quite satisfied. And this brings me on to the last one, is that you are making the choice. Remember, we, we are in control of how much we are, we eat. Like someone said to me the other day, and this is one of the biggest wins I get them. they're like, I just left somewhere on my plate, and I was like, that is massive, because I know from Italian family, finishing your plate, finish your meal, eat what you're given, etc., is such a big thing. She's like, oh, I just, I just left a bit, I was full up, satisfied, I went home, felt really good, full up, had enough, nice, but not overly stuffed, bloated. And what would be different if we did that over time? Because actually, ultimately, it's about incorporating this into our routine, which is exactly what we're gonna be doing in our free five-day kickstart, especially with Christmas around the corner. Do something different this year. It'll be really tailored around staying on track around Christmas, not to mention five short workouts, 10 minutes a day. If you've got 10 minutes a day, perfect. Directed, get that resistance work going, start something even with Christmas around the corner. It starts Monday the 20th of November. We're also gonna go over five minute task each day that you can do to create that self-awareness, create that nutrition plan and training plan, fit for you on your lifestyle, even on your worst day for that. So I will put the link around here to join our free five day kickstart. Make it an awesome day. If you're eating out, remember you are in control.